Hey guys, today on Hacksaw Creators, I'll be showing you guys how to create a really nice looking um, minimalistic website design in Sketch. Now, Sketch is an application available for Mac and you can download it for $99 from their website. And uh, you can also get a free trial before uh, to try the application out before actually buying it. So make sure to go ahead and check out their website. The link will be in the description. So to begin, you want to go ahead into file and then click on new from template. And once you do, you see that you have different options, like almost six. And I'm going to go with web design since that's the one that's going to suit me the best for this uh, project. And I'm going to click on choose. So as you can see, you have a desktop and then you have a tablet and mobile portrait. Now these are so you can design the website on different devices so it can be responsive for every uh, device. So zooming in, I'm going to zoom in uh, using command plus or you can zoom in using your trackpad. doesn't really matter and uh, scroll and I'm going to go to my desktop. So I'm going to be designing the desktop version of the website first of all. And as you can see, this is kind of too short. So I'm going to increase the height to 2000. You really don't have to do this. This is uh, because in my for my website design is too short. Uh, if, if it's the same for you, then you can increase it. You can also change uh, the width if you want to, uh, but it's not necessary. So to add an image, first of all, I want to add an image. So to add an image, you can go to your finder. I'm going to go to my desktop since that's where since that's where I have my picture saved and you can drag it into the application. Uh, another way you can add a picture is by clicking on image over here and you can import your picture uh, to resize. Just like in Photoshop, you would just hold the picture, hold down shift on your keyboard. Uh, you want to make sure it's proportional. Otherwise, it's not going to look too good. Um, I think this is perfect for my website design and I'm going to center it and now I'm going to add the text for the header. So I'm not going to add a rectangle for my header. Uh, I think it looks cleaner without one. So I'm going to first text is going to be I'm going to go with Meteor Media. So I'm going to highlight the whole text and I'm going to change the color to white. And if you want to use the same font, it's called uh, Unisans. I'll leave the link in the description for download. Um, it's it's a paid font, but you can get it for free because you watched uh, this video. Um, so after this, I'm going to add uh, the text for the different tabs. And first text is going to be home. Home. And since the font doesn't fit, it doesn't have a really thin uh, a really thin version I'm gonna change the font to railway which is also another really good um, really good font for website design uh, I'm gonna make it all caps and yeah this should be good now I'm gonna decrease the font size as it seems too big uh, 14 should be good and yeah I think it's looking really nice now I'm gonna drag it to the top and just like in Photoshop, if you want to duplicate anything, any object or text in Sketch, what you can do is you can, you can hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag it from there. And as you can see, it makes a duplicated version of the same text. Um, I just resize this, undo, uh, Alt and drag again. And I think this is enough. I'm going to position it to its best uh, place and once I am done I can change the two other text so this one is going to be um, about us and this one probably let's go with contact us now if you want to add a text on the picture just like I am going to do right now it's really easy grab your text tool drag a big text box and I'm going to write for all now you can type in anything you want I just went with this um, I'm going to change this one to unisans and change the size to let's see 48 yeah that seems this is good. 48 is good for that. And 
if you want to add a drop shadow you can add a shadow right here and you can mess with the settings I think this looks really good uh, so I don't need to change any of the settings for the shadow and I'm gonna add a button for the website so I'm gonna get a rounded rectangle and center it on the website this seems too big so I'm gonna decrease it by a bit and I'm gonna change the color to white and I think it has an outline um, so I'm gonna change the outline of this the outline doesn't look too good so the fill is gonna be white too so I'm gonna change the I'm gonna turn off the outline and now I'm gonna add a text on top of this so I'm gonna get my text tool and I'll type in click here to see some of our work now you can highlight this whole thing make it a lot smaller to fit into the button and I'm gonna change the color too uh, for the color I don't know what color to pick for this maybe I'm just gonna get the color picker tool as you can see you can click on it and I'm gonna select this let's see if it works so yeah it looks nice so now I'm gonna move on to the next part of the website so before we get into the actual next part which is the about us page uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an arrow this is not necessary at all uh, I think it makes it look nicer uh, so shift drag shift and drag to make sure it's um, exactly at 45 degrees uh, make sure you're holding down the shift key and then press alt and hold it down on your keyboard and it's gonna make a duplicate version of that right click on it click on transform and flip horizontal and this is gonna do is gonna create an arrow I'm gonna center these two on the center of the page and I'm gonna change their colors to uh, the last color that we used which was from this one and this should be looking really clean once we finish yeah it looks really clean now now I'm gonna make the next part of the website which is about us page and how I did that was I just grabbed a rectangle tool made a big rectangle around here and size doesn't matter uh, if you like it just pick a size that you think is good enough for you and yeah on top of this I added text which was first of all added the heading text which was about us obviously so about us and I'm gonna change the font color so we can see it better to white and I think we should make it bigger too since it's a header you don't want it to get mixed in with the other paragraphs and everything like that so I'm, I'm gonna go with 24 yeah that should be good enough um, like really big fonts do not look good on a uh, minimalistic website so don't make your fonts too big uh, either and then uh, we're gonna add in the paragraph for my paragraph I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to my web browser and I'm gonna search for lorem ipsum and this is basically a dummy paragraph that you can use um, if you don't have any paragraph to actually type in for your website so I'm gonna use just this part copy it by command C um, and I'm gonna get my text tool make another rectangle and type it in now the font I have to change it back to uh, railway since this is a bit too like it's uh, the weight is too it's too ex it's really heavy it has a heavy weight unisans has a really heavy weight so that's why I changed the font um, uh, I changed the fonts to railway and I'm gonna change the size to uh, 20 should be good and it's looking really clean and really nice right now so after this on my website I made previously as you can see I have different icons and have explanations under there uh, but before I do that I think I should make this a bit thicker instead of going with italic I should uh, probably pick uh, let's say light uh, that's even thinner so medium 
yeah that's that's good so moving on let's go ahead and add those icons so if you want icons like those you can uh, go to your uh, web browser and search for them and add PNG at the end so they do not have a background and if you can't find one without a background you can uh, take it into Photoshop and remove the background really easily but for mine I have them set up right here so drag it into um, sketch and resize it just like I did with the other picture uh, you want it to be small uh, it doesn't have to overtake all of the page and resize again to make it really small I think I made it too small for this so I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger and center this one and get the last picture which is this so once you have resized uh, your pictures mine is not perfect because I'm trying to uh, get uh, get through this really fastly and show you I'm rushing it because it's a tutorial but for you you can take some time zoom in and make sure that they are um, perfectly um, they are perfectly sized so from for the first one I'm gonna go with high definition photos and pictures and I'm gonna change the font weight from medium uh, to make it a bit thicker to bold and you can highlight it change the size to about 18 and for me I like to make them two lines and I have changed uh, the alignment from uh, left side to the center so you want to click here to change uh, the alignment and yeah and then you can just drag it over here and now I'm just gonna press alt and duplicate this twice I'm not gonna change the text because this is like a dummy website it's not a, an actual website and as you can see it's looking really nice all we need now is the contact us uh, parts of the page for that you can grab a rectangle tool and you can create a really nice rectangle change I'm gonna change I'm gonna uh, get rid of the outline and change the fill to a really light gray not too light or not too dark so I want to go with something like this a nice shade of gray now I'm gonna add a heading for this part which is gonna be contact us I'm also gonna change the color since it's white and it just overlaps with the background you can't see it mm, so I'm gonna go with the same color I want with this So this is looking really nice right now. Uh, the only thing I would add is I'll make this a bit bigger first of all. So 24 should be good. Highlight, change it to black, which is, or just change it to Unisans. Yeah, that that that's a bit better. Now moving on, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make the contact us form kind of thing. And first of all, it's gonna be um, name and for this I think I should go with railway for this so the whole website font I'm using railway and unisans and downloads for both are gonna be in the description if you want to download them so first of all for this I'll go with medium um, drag it to the left and I'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and duplicate it like a couple of times Now once you have duplicated the text for the contact us part of the website you can change it so the second one is going to be uh, email name then email and then I'm going to go with subject for the third one and last one is going to be message so once you are done you can create rectangles um, for them so right click click on shape and click on rectangle or you can press R on your keyboard and yeah I'm gonna change the color to white fill color to white and yeah alt and duplicate this again and again as you wish again so I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and wider too for the last one 
And as you can see, if you just follow the tutorial, you just created uh, a website design using Sketch. It really speeds up your workflow. It's much better than Photoshop for creating website designs. And yeah, that was it for this video. I'll see you on the next episode of Hacksaw Creators.